we want to get the x or the y by itself. So if you have something like this, 2y plus x equals 7, all you want to do is make sure you have the equation to saying either x equals or y equals. In this situation, you've done this a million times. You subtract 2y, subtract 2y, draw the line, this cancels out. You bring down this, x equals, over here you have negative 2y plus 7. That's it. That's it. Now does it say x equals? Yes. Okay, let me give you another example. Um, if it said um, 2y minus x equals 7, all I do is switch this, just because sometimes this will happen. You'll subtract 2y, you'll subtract 2y, those will cancel out, and you'll be left with negative x equals negative 2y plus, that's supposed to be a y, plus 7, okay? Is that x equals? No, because we have that negative. We want to say just x equals. Remember I told you you can do whatever you want to one side as long as you do it to the other. So, the easiest way to fix this is to multiply by a negative 1, multiply by a negative 1, and since math is fair, you have to do this to negative 1 on all three of those. So right here, what's negative 1 times negative 1? Just 1, or 1x, one or just x, equals what's negative 2 times a negative 1? Well, that's 2y. And then what's a positive 7 times a negative 1? Negative 7. So there, now in this case, it says x equals 2y, sorry, x equals 2y um, minus 7. Now, I'm going to show you a different thing. Let's take this right here and move it down here. I'm going to show you another way of doing this. You might like this. Minus x equals negative 2y plus 7. What you can do is you can add 2y, add 2y, and what do you get here? You get negative x plus 2y equals 7. Well, that didn't help. But what if you do this? If you add x and add x, then you're gonna, these are going to cancel out. You're going to get 2y equals 7 plus x, right? That's supposed to be a y. Okay, now x is almost by itself, but we have to subtract this 7 and subtract, oops, where am I? Subtract 7. And if I do that, these right here will cancel out, and I'll be left with, over here, 2y, yep, minus 7, yep, equals x. So what does x equal? x equals 2y minus 7. So that's how you take when you get a situation like this. This is the easy one right here. All you have to do is subtract 2y from both sides. And then you get negative 2y plus 7. Do we know what, y, what x equals? Yes, we do. x equals negative 2y plus 7. So there you go. That's how you find it. And then you just substitute it in. I think you know how to do that. Let me know if you don't.